Michelle started with donating Perfect Granola to um, the House of Mercy a few years ago just because the House of Mercy is a private organization so they don't have any state or government funding so it really all is just up to the community to support them. Um, so Michelle and the company, our mission is to give back to the community so um, we just developed the relationship in that capacity. She didn't become an entrepreneur. What her goal was was just to get a healthy product out to those that are less fortunate or um, in a position where they just need a little help and they aren't able to get it from our government or state organizations. Um, so it really is just trying to create a better world through food and love and we're able to do that with the support of the community. I'm Sister Grace Miller, a Sister of Mercy, and I'm the director of the House of Mercy. Uh, we opened the House of Mercy about 33 years ago uh, because homeless people were on the streets and we would try to get them into homeless shelters and they were refused. And they don't want to be homeless, but things happened in their lives when they were children and um, onward that were, were hard to deal with. Because I decided that there had to be a place in Rochester that was open 24-7. They were taking homeless people on the streets and no questions asked, just welcome them, love them, care for them, and live out you know, the House of Mercy's name. Michelle came and she brought all this granola, you know, granola, granola bars, and I mean, tons of them, and our people were all delighted, and it was a wonderful gift that we had. Our people loved it, loved granola. And um, she wants to volunteer with us, which is a wonderful thing. We are so grateful to them because our people love granola. Food we got, Anything that's donated to us is a tremendous help to us because we have so many people here that we have to feed. So uh, perfect granola was a wonderful gift to us.